So practice makes perfect. You know, it's a phrase that's true for basically anything. And Fortnite is really no different. In order to improve quickly, you're gonna have to practice consistently, guys, and effectively. And one of the best ways to improve your mechanical ability in Fortnite is by training in creative. But your crush saw me where you at today. We're gonna be going over some of the very best creative maps that you need to use to improve at an incredibly fast rate. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so first up, we have Skavok's Aim Trainer. All right, so this map is honestly like one of the very best aim trainers in Fortnite creative. It's dope, I love it. The map receives new updates all the time. So, you know, you won't ever have to worry about bugs or any other problems that can disrupt your daily warm-up routine. You know, it doesn't matter what input method you use, aiming is just something that everybody has trouble with from time to time. And so this map is friendly to players on both keyboard and mouse and players on a controller. And you know, it just has a ton of different scenarios that you can pick and choose from. So using Skavox, you will be able to train your tracking skills Skills, your crosshair placement, your flicking and reaction time, your target switching, and many other skills that are really essential to really to play, you know, against the top players in the Fortnite community. Skavok's Aim Chainer is truly just a map that will never let you down, man. As, as long as you could put in the work and the practice for at least 30 minutes at the beginning of each play session, all you have to do is really just load up the map using the code in the description of this video. Use any weapon that you want to really improve your aim with, and then just go through a couple scenarios a couple times. Before doing that, just make sure that you know what your weaknesses are so that you can just actually spend more time training in them specifically. Okay, so after you've managed to get your aim pinpoint accurate <laughs> through the use of Skavok's aim training map, all right, you're gonna wanna put your newfound aiming skills to the test against an actual real player. And so the Raider 464 aim duels map is exactly what you need to do next. This map will allow you to customize your health, weapons, and overall fighting space. Okay, so this aim duels map is just gonna help you warm up incredibly quickly, and it's gonna make sure that your tracking and crosshair placement has been honed to its absolute best potential. Almost every pro player who has made it to the top of the Fortnite scene uses this map, all right? And have really permanently implemented this into their warm-up routine. So it's just a pretty good bet that you should try and spend at least 20 minutes on this map before you jump into real games. Now, some players may have some trouble using this aim duels map because you're gonna need someone to actually play against. So you got two choices, all right? If you find yourself in a situation like this, on the one hand, you could join a Fortnite Discord, like the Pro Guys Fortnite Discord, where a ton of similarly skilled players will also be looking for someone to play with. Alternatively, you know, you can simply just step through the matchmaking portal on the map and really hope that someone else will be looking to play Raiders Aim Duels map at the same time. And it can be found on the side after loading into the map. Once again, guys, we've got the code for this map down in the description, so you got no excuses not to try it out. All right. Okay, so if you're still struggling to improve no matter how many creative maps you try and play, you should definitely check out ProGuys.com right now. Like, we've got the best pro coaches ready and waiting 24 hours a day, seven days a week to help you guys out. They're going to play alongside of you in your games and tell you exactly, you know, where you're going wrong and how to improve. And it's really the best way to get better at Fortnite fast so you can win more games. All right, so for the next map, we're going right back to Raider 464 because his Peace Control V2 map is a great tool to help you guys master Peace Control. And it's definitely gonna help your mechanics become much faster. All right, so the Raider 464 map is one of the best maps to utilize to really improve your Peace Control. And it has probably helped hundreds of players to improve their mechanics since it was launched. As with all of Raiders Fortnite maps, this one is incredibly easy to get the grips on. You know, like after you put in the code that we have in the description and really boot into the map, you're gonna notice that there are in fact multiple levels of the map. Each one of these different levels will show you different peace control techniques that you can incorporate into your playstyle to absolutely destroy opponents in real games. Okay, so at the beginning of each level, there's gonna be a number, you know, under a blue button. Shooting it is gonna explain exactly what you need to do by displaying some text. And it's really going to show you, you know, exactly how to complete the level. And so when you're ready to really start the level, just walk on through, complete the peace control techniques that the level expects of you while shooting the bot in the middle. Each level is gonna repeat a couple of times. You're gonna be able to automatically return to the starting lobby. So you can just, you know, move into the next level when the drill is finally over. And so not only will this help you master your peace control, guys, it's also gonna help you nail your crosshair placement and your angles as well. And so when you keep repeating the same edits, you're gonna automatically get better at them as they, you know, just get baked into your muscle memory and your crosshair placement will slowly improve along with it. 
You can also learn new angles and peaks to really use against real enemies and real game situations. And you're also gonna be able to learn how to position yourself in ways that'll make sure that you'll never take too much damage in a real fight. All right, guys, so another great thing about this map is that because of the repetition of each build, it also really is good for just helping you get used to new keybinds. So if you ever change your keybinds, man, make sure you always come back to this map so you can just learn them as soon as possible. And after you manage to get through all the levels, you're also gonna be able to just free build on the map, which will help you warm up. And once again, it, you know, if you change your keybinds, you know, you'll get a feel for the new layout. All right, so next up, we have one of the coolest and you know most interesting maps you can use to improve your high ground retakes. It's the Tito high ground retake map. All right, high ground retakes are incredibly important, <laughs> like no matter what game mode that you end up playing, and this map is going to make it incredibly easy for you to really learn them. As usual, we have the map code down in the description, so all you need to do is just copy and paste to really start the map up. So when you first spawn, you, you're gonna notice that there are many different tutorial signs scattered around, and they do exactly what they say. By just shooting the tutorial button, the high ground retake will automatically start assembling itself piece by piece in front of your eyes. This honestly is insane. You know, this creation will allow you to slowly see each build as it gets placed. And the arrows and ores will show you how to move around and where to place each and every part of the build. Without a doubt, guys, this is the easiest way to really learn new high ground retakes. This map is literally like a personal Fortnite tutor, man. So make sure that you're spending some time on it and learn these brand new retakes. Take advantage of it. All right, Buxha Chris Army, it's time for the question of the day. For today's question, we want to know if you've ever practiced on a creative map before, and if you have, which one was it? Let us know in the comments because you already know we're going to check it out. All right, so the last map that we're going to be talking about today is more of a way to put your aim and mechanics to the test after training them in the previous maps than it is another map to train up on. And so after you spend a decent amount of time making sure that you're properly warmed up and ready to go, and you spend at least 30 minutes in the previous maps, you should start playing some Zone Wars. Zone Wars is honestly like some of the best practice that you can have in creative, and it's gonna test your aim, your mechanics, and your game sense to their breaking point. Zone Wars are fast paced and it's gonna be available for you to play at any time. And so the basic idea behind Zone Wars, guys, is to stay on the high ground and to heighten your awareness. The mode is gonna test your pump and AR aim, and it's gonna help you guys improve your bloom management and your awareness a ton. Something that will really help you improve is playing Zone Wars with players that are at at least a similar skill level to you. But really, you're gonna improve the most by playing with people who are better than you. And this is gonna help you learn your weaknesses and you're slowly gonna become better at fighting superior enemies without even realizing it. Now, I get it. Not everybody has a bunch of friends that they can play with or who are at a similar skill level to you, but that's all right because Panville has created a hub where you know you can really find other players to play Zone Wars with just by a click of a button. So paste the code in the description and you're gonna be taken to a brand new hub with a ton of matchmaking options. You can play Team Zone Wars, Realistics, FFA Zone Wars, and so much more, guys. You can also choose from 1v1 or 2v2 or 3v3s, which will allow you to find new teammates as well, and even continue to play with them after if you choose to. So next time you're looking for something to do in creative, guys, just make sure you play these maps to improve very quickly. Hey guys, so we really hope you enjoyed this video and really learned something new today. All right, make sure that you put in the work, man, and utilize each map to become the best. And always remember, guys, that everybody started at a low point and all they had to do was just set their routine and utilize creative modes to really get on top. I believe in you guys, but you have to believe in yourselves as well. Hey, if you guys liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to connect with me on my Instagram for more motivation, do so at Your Motivation Guy. I'll see you soon. Peace.